Welcome to the Survivor Kagayan Episode 3 Unofficial After Show. I'm your host as always, Edward Crane. Let's talk about it. So we had a reward challenge this episode, which was kind of rare because we hardly do that when there's three teams. So that was interesting to watch. And the winner got chickens. So, yeah. I thought that reward challenge had made history. We're getting the most nut shots out of everyone. I mean, even the girls got nut shot. Well, technically stomach, but you know that area. LJ got the worst of it, like, every single time he went out. Yeah, yeah, poo! Alright, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Yeah, so, the beauty tribe won the chicks. Of course, that a tribe of beautiful people with guys in there were able to pick up chicks. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Gee, I wonder why the Brains team came in last place, um, it's Jatia again, I mean, really, Jatia, I just don't, uh, I just, she gives Brains a bad name, enough said. So, the beautiful tribe, when they won the chickens, there was this huge ass debate on how eggs were made. Um, so, uh, they're asexual? They don't need a male rooster to lay eggs? So, like, eggs come from the chicken, but the rooster doesn't have sex with a chicken? It was kind of funny, like, watching that. And I think, like, Jeremiah said, typical beauty tribe. Very offensive to them. So, as you know, Carpsa Russ is planning to take over the Braun tribe. And Sarah tries to recruit Wu to turn on Cliff. And I'm like, why are you doing this, man? I mean, you're taking out one of your strongest players. You don't think that he could be helpful later, or something. I mean, just because you think there's going to be a tribe swap, which is kinda stupid. I'll get into why I think um, tribe swaps are stupid next episode when there actually is one. Spoiler, but it was at the end of the episode, so. So, surprisingly, Wu turns on Cliff, and aligns himself with Sarah, and cops are us. And then they start talking about throwing challenges just to get rid of Cliff. I mean, first of all, you do not have that big of a lead against everyone else. And you're just basically saying, oh, we're going to throw this challenge so we don't have an, uh, the upper hand against the beautiful tribe and the non-athletic, non-beautiful tribe. AKA the brains. No, 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 we're totally just gonna throw the challenge. Doesn't make sense. But there is only one flaw with that plan. <coughs> Jatia. I mean like Jatia, like obviously the anchor of the entire team. Uh well, to be fair. She didn't even swim that deep, so she's not even a good anchor. Ha ha ha. I'm sorry, Jatia. So, Evie's won, and Braun got second. And who came in the last? Come on. You know this. Who came in last? Brains. Well, two of my favorite players were going to face off to see who was going, which team was going home. Cliff and Spencer. Now, obviously, Cliff was going to win, but still, I mean, there was a brief moment where I thought that Spencer could win this. Alright, so Jatia, horrible with swimming and throwing and getting the ball to Spencer. It was like, my god, 
why? Ugh. And it, you know your team is doing bad if someone tries to lo lose a challenge on purpose and you still come in last place. I was like, my god, please keep Spencer, please keep Spencer, get rid of Jatia, get rid of Jatia, it's not a hard decision. So, when Tribal Council actually comes, this is basically Jeff's reaction. Yeah, I, I would probably do the same thing, because it's, ri it's ridiculous. So, basically, Tasha and Cass are deciding who gets to say, Jatia or Spencer. And I find it, I find it weird they even had to debate about it. I was like saying, on the one hand, Jatia of McDouble. On the other hand, Steak from Outback. Which one would you choose? Unless you're vegetarian, then... I don't know. I don't know vegetarian stuff. Alright. And some of the cat... Um, some of what Cass was saying, like... Who is going to be more loyal to us? Okay. There's a few things wrong with that. One. If you're on a tribe of three... Whoever's left... It doesn't matter if they're loyal or not. Because you can vote them out, regardless. Two, loyalty does not guarantee you to go further in this game. And loyalty also does not help you win challenges. So, I just, like, through the whole thing, it was like, please do the right thing. Don't do something stupid. And Cass was right. I was sitting there saying, please don't make the stupid move. Please don't make the stupid move. It is self-aware. She was self-aware of what she was doing. And... Let's just say I am so relieved that the brains finally made a brainy move. Yes, Jatia's gone. And, honestly, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because she was... Like I said, Jatia, bad example of brains. So next episode of Bronze vs. Brains vs. Beauty, we're going to change the teams, so Bronze vs. Brains vs. Beauty is no more. Hey, Survivor. Um, I'm sorry, um, what was the title of the show again? And you're, I mean, you're changing teams. I'll explain in the next video why I don't like it. And I never like when they change tribes. Um, I'll just, I'll talk about that next episode. But, right now we got important business. We're going to give Jatia a send-off. Jatia... I do applaud you for one thing. You were able to burn over 90% of your rice and not get eliminated. No one has ever done that and survived the night. So let's cross her out. So, already we have 14 contestants, which means by the end of the month, the merge will happen. Who do you think will win? Who do you think has the best shot at winning? And how do you feel about the team switch? That's coming up next episode. Please leave comments in the below, and remember, like, comment, subscribe, and as always... Survive.